Hello guys, today I'm showing you uh, Safari 5.1 developer preview and it's pretty good at this point so it's not very buggy so I like it and let's just jump right into the video it loads really fast, it's nice and it looks pretty much the same as Safari 5.0 but you can see there's a new thing added on the far right. It looks like glasses. It's the reading list. You can see uh, stories that you've saved to here. I don't think I'm going to use it that much because I have an Instapaper account. And it works better, I think. Plus, it has like an iPhone app. I think it's this feature is included in iOS 5, which is yet to be released. But use Instapaper, it's better. But and you can just go to your web pages, add new tabs, whatever the hell you want to do. It's nice. Yeah, you know your widgets, uh, your uh, Safari extensions work. Port bugs because this is developer preview, and it works pretty well. Still has top sites and your bookmarks. Your history, your um, extended, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Customize your toolbar. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Safari extensions are nice. If you don't know about this, I'm surprised about how many people don't actually know about this, but can get free little things to make your browsing experience better. So yeah, it works. These work pretty well. I have a couple installed. It's random util utilities for stuff. So it, it works well. And it's the Google search bar, you can not do that. And uh, you can customize your toolbar like you can in the old one. Or just drag the default up. But yeah, it's, it works really well. It's uh, just a beta, so it's going to be included in Lion for free. My Lion overview is coming soon, so you should check that out. I'm MacGeekIOS on Twitter, MacGeekIOS on YouTube. And macgeekios at gmail.com to email. And more stuff coming soon, guys. Thanks for this, and I will be back later. Bye.